A former Republican Capitol Hill lawmaker from South Dakota is looking forward to a new Democratic administration entering the White House in less than two weeks. Larry Pressler of Humboldt served on the Foreign Relations Committee with President-elect Joe Biden when both were members of the U.S. Senate. And Pressler describes Biden as a policy guy, the kind of person he says is needed right now in Washington. But he does have one concern about Biden as he prepares to take office. Perry Groton finds out why Biden's age is an issue to Pressler in tonight's Eye on Cuddleland. We can't cut and run. We're into the situation now. Politics is personal to Larry Pressler when it comes to President-elect Joe Biden. I know him well personally, uh, and he will be a good, honest, strong leader for our nation. Pressler's and Biden's political careers overlapped in Washington. Both served on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Pressler says the two were able to set aside political differences to work together in Washington in a spirit of cooperation that's rare among politicians today. Well, Biden had his offices right next to us, and I'd walk to my boats with him frequently. He's a very polite man, very, very good man, and cares a lot about our country. But he knows more about policy. He's a policy guy, and uh, that's what we need. Pressler, a three-term senator, last ran for office as an independent in an unsuccessful bid to return to the Senate in 2014. By that time, Pressler had left the Republican Party because he says the GOP lurched too far to the right, leaving no place for centrists like himself. He supported Joe Biden's run for the White House against President Trump. Uh, I like a more stable, traditional approach to government, and uh, Trump is too much of a fucking bronco for me. But critics, including Trump, made Biden's age an issue during the campaign. And the 78-year-old Pressler has his own reservations. I worry about his age a little bit. His age is exactly the same as mine. And I'm a little bit worried about, uh, as he moves into his uh, 80s, uh, how, how that's going to work out. But I, I hope well. But a lot of us who get close to 80, we find out we've got some... Glitches. Pressler himself is dealing with one of those so-called glitches. In November, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Yes, I'm going to beat it. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best. But pancreatic cancer has a very low survival rate. Pressler spent the holidays being treated at the Johns Hopkins Cancer Center in Baltimore. I don't know if they're going to do chemotherapy or not. Uh, the treatment is... Uh, uh, Good anti-cancer food and uh, lots of rest, I guess. Uh, but there really isn't any treatment. Pancreatic cancer is a mystery to everybody. It's a medical mystery that Pressler hopes more research can solve. In the meantime, Pressler looks back on his career in Washington with pride. He was the first Vietnam veteran to serve in the U.S. Senate. Plus, everyone with an electronic device, like the cell phone we use to conduct our interview, is connected in a way to Pressler's time on Capitol Hill. The Telecommunications Act of 96, which was my legislation, brought us the internet. So that's part of my legacy. Also, uh, I did a lot of work on agricultural matters and air safety, transportation, uh, everything I worked on for my state. 2021 will be a year of uncertainty for Pressler as he deals with his cancer. But regardless of the health challenges he may face in the months ahead, Pressler remains grateful for all the support he's received from his home state. I'm so thankful that the people of South Dakota allowed me to serve in the House of Representatives for four years and the United States Senate for 18 years. And I'm just very grateful to the people of South Dakota. With I on Kelloland, I'm Perry Groton. Pressler, who lives in Washington, says that he hopes one day to move back to South Dakota, but his health won't allow him to do it right now.